stage two load shedding is back with us and one of the after effects is voltage fluctuations uh, which damage electrical components. Now Andrew Dixon, an engineering manager for CBI Electric, joins us now to talk about ways to prevent unwanted electric surges. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for speaking to us and of course it's ironic that you are also sitting in the middle of load shedding as we have our discussion. Uh, but we heard a little bit earlier from energy analyst that, uh, from the energy analyst Chris Yellen, that we are going to have load shedding for a very long time in the country so we might as well prepare ourselves for it let's talk about the damage that the the constant on and off does to our appliances and how that works afternoon lady thank you for having me um so in any system as you oscillate through the constant switching um the base loads that you have out there cause these fluctuations and as you switch on a generator everything goes to an overvoltage stage and you get these rippling switching uh, over transients that happen. And with any of those, any downstream electronic devices, particularly and electrical devices, can sustain damage. Mm. And so what, what is it that we need to be doing then? So like the traditional warnings is unplug devices during the load shedding so that when things start up again, you're not impacted by that. Um, alternatively, there are a lot of smart devices that are now out and available um, to the user. So to embrace the technology, use that technology so that as you switch on after load shading, as the voltages fluctuate, your devices stay off. And only once that uh, once the grid stabilizes, the voltage stabilized to the standard operating 230 volts, your devices then come online. Mm. The advantage with that, of course, is what what the municipalities in Eskimo don't want is that all the loads come on at the same time because that obviously draws power out of the grid instantaneously, which can lead to other instabilities. Mm. So if we can control that switch on process, then everything stab will stabilize a lot better and it will mean ultimately for the user potentially less damage to their devices. Yeah. Are there specific appliances that we need to be really, really careful of? So, again, anything that is highly capacitive um, generally doesn't like those high voltage transients or over voltage transients. And then anything with electronics. So, typically, you look at uh, fridges, um, anything like gate motor power supply units, uh, TV systems, audio visual systems, they really don't like it. So, they tend to get damaged very easily with yeah. that. Um, obviously, in the event of a switch on, often uh, you can lose a phase through a number of means and suddenly you arrive in the system, particularly for those who get three phase power, where um, they suddenly see phase to phase voltage instead of just a line voltage and that can cause absolute havoc with the devices. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen people really try and get creative with the processes, right? So I've seen people, you know, talk about inverters, and I, I really don't understand what some of these things are. And maybe you can talk about some of the, the infrastructure that we can buy, perhaps, to make that easier. All right. So on the inverter side, which is a relatively um, accessible item these days to the general public, inline inverter particularly so you get mains power coming in goes through the inverter goes to some battery backup system as the power goes off and drops out the inverter then picks up that you don't even notice the transition with any of your electrical devices but the inverter basically smooths everything off for your downstream devices and in that way provides some protection so the first thing i'd recommend is if you can get an inverter large enough that obviously allows you to power your devices through the load shedding period. So I can speak to you now because my uh, communication system, my uh, fire barrel box and my, um, my Wi-Fi is on a uh, inverter system. So to me, I transition naturally through it. And when the power comes back on, the, the inverter handles that. I don't see the surge on those devices. So it ultimately provides protection for that. In the case of uh, things like uh, gate motors, uh, garage door motors, fridges, etc., you can get devices. Um, so our company provides a plug-based uh, controller that allows you to be able to control when and where your device switches on. Mm. It gives you the ability to automate that. And in doing that, you can then 
um, when the power comes back on, your fridge stays off for an extra two or three minutes, and then it activates. So it's, it's those kind of devices that help you a lot. Yeah, no, thanks for that, Andrew. We really do appreciate uh, your time. Andrew Dixon, an engineering manager at CBI Electric, speaking there.